Hello everyone, welcome to Premier Man. Today we are going to discuss SSC Sigil previous year questions. We will be solving all these questions using speed matrix. So let's start our session. Our first question is 13 ABC are 4 distinct numbers and HCF of each pair of numbers 13A, 13B, 13C is 13. Where ABC are each less than 60. A less than B less than C. What is the value of A plus C by B? Here HCF is 13 means all these numbers are multiple of 13. That is A is multiple of 13, B is multiple of 13 and C is multiple of 13. A, B, C are each less than 60 means A less than 60, B less than 60, C less than 60. Now A, B, C multiple of 13 and less than 60. So if you take multiple of 13, 13 into 4 is 52. Now 13 into 5 is 65 which is not less than 60. So this is the maximum means C is the largest number out of this ABC which means C is 52. So 13 into 4 is C which is 52 and 13 into 3 is equal to 39 and 13 into 2 is equal to 26. 13 into 1 13. Now if you take this as C and this as B and this as A. Now you can see here we need A plus C by B. A plus C by B is equal to this all are multiple of 13. So 13 will cancel each other. Anyway, I will take 13 into 4 C plus 13 into 2 A. 13 into 2 A divided by 13 into 3 B. Now you can see 13 cancel. 4 plus 2 by 3 is equal to 2. Here answer 2 is in the option. So option 2 is your answer. Now even if you take these 3. That is consider this as C and this one as B and this one as A. Now A plus C is equal to 3 plus 1 4 divided by B is equal to 2. 13 will cancel. So 4 by 2 is 2. So in this way you will get answer. A train covers distance of 225 km in 2.5 hours with the uniform speed. The time taken in hours to cover distance of 450 km with the same speed is. Here speed is same. And here distance is, first distance is 225 and second distance is 450. 225 into 2 is equal to 450. Which means time will be double of this. That is first time is Two and a half hours. That is 5 by 2 hours. Then second time will be 5 by 2 into 2. 5 hours. So option 1 is your answer. That is 225 distance covered in 2 and a half hours means 5 by 2 hours. Then 450 kilometer will cover in this 225 into 2 is equal to 450. So 5 by 2 into 2 is equal to 5 hour. Because speed is same. In triangle ABC, D is a point on side BC such that angle ADC is angle BAC. If CA is 12 cm, CD is 8 cm, then CB is. Here this is triangle ABC. Now this is point D on BC. Angle ADC is equal to angle BAC. And here if you take this smaller triangle and this larger triangle, these two triangles are similar. Because you can see this angle C is common. Angle C is common and here angle A in larger triangle and angle ADC in smaller triangles are equal. That is two angles are equal means remaining third angle is also equal. That is here remaining angle in larger triangle is angle B and remaining angle in smaller triangle is angle DAC. Now three angles are equal means these triangles are similar that is triangle ABC is similar to triangle DAC. When two triangles are similar ratio of its corresponding sides are equal that is here if you take side opposite to B here AC is equal to 12 and CD is equal to 8. Now take the corresponding side we need BC that is here side opposite to B is equal to 12 which is in larger triangle. Now angle equal to 
angle B is equal to this angle. Now take the opposite side which is 8. Which is equal to here. We need BC. BC is in larger triangle. Now BC is opposite to angle A. Now angle equal to angle A in smaller triangle is this one. Take the opposite side which is 12. Now 4 goes 2 times in 12. 4 goes 3 times in 12. 2 goes 6 times in 12. 6 into 3 is 18. So BC here is equal to 18. Option 1 is your answer. Find the value following expression. Tan 45 is 1. So tan cube 45 is 1. Cos 60 is sin 30 which is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 the whole cube is 1 by 8. So 4 into 1 by 8 divided by so 6 square 45 is 1 by sin square 45. Sin 45 is 1 by root 2. So sin square 45 is 1 by 2. So cos 6 square 45 is 2. 2 into 2 is 4 minus 3 into 6 square 30 is 1 by cos square 30. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So cos square 30 is 3 by 4. Then 6 square 30 is 4 by 3. Plus sin 30 is 1 by 2. Now 4 minus 4 is 0. So this will become, denominator will become 1 by 2. And numerator is equal to 4 goes 2 times in 8. 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2. And here you have 1 by 2 in the denominator. So your answer is 3. Option 4 is your answer. A, B and C start a business. A invest 33 into 1 by 3 percentage of the total capital. B invest 25 percentage of the remaining and C the rest. If the total profit at the end of the year is rupees 2,19,000 then A's share is. Here we have to find out what is A's share. Here question says A, is, A invest 33 into 1 by 3 percentage. That is 33 into 1 by 3 percentage means 33 into 3 is 99, 91 plus 100. So 100 by 3 percentage means 100 by 300 of the total capital which means 300 is the total capital and 100 is A's share. That is we have to find out what is A's share. 100 part is the A's share. Here 300 part is given as 2,19,000. 2 lakh 19,000. Then 1 part is equal to 0 and 0 cancel. 3 goes 7 times in 21. 3 goes 3 times in 9. Remaining 0. 1 part is 730. Then 100 part is equal to 100 part is A share. That is 100 into 730 which is 730 double 0. So option 3 is your answer. Here always read what you have to find. Don't try to calculate what is C's share and what is B's share. Quotes A, B and C, D of a circle when produced meet at the point B. If A, B is 6.3 cm, B, P is 4.5 and C, D is 3.6, then the length of B, D is here. This is the circle and here A, B and C, D are two quotes. And these two chords meet at point P. Now this is point P. And here AB is 6.3. BP is 4.5. And CD is 3.6. And we have to find what is the length of PD here. PD is, I will consider PD as X. Now this is external point P. And these two are secants. Now these two secants drawn from the same external point P to the same circle. Now here external segment length is equal to this one 4.5. So take the sum of these secant segment. 6.3 plus 4.5 is equal to 6 plus 4 10. 10.8. So 4.5 into 10.8 is same as. Here external segment length is equal to x. x into 3.6 plus x. 4 into 10 is equal to 40. 4 into 8 is 3.2. So 43.2 plus 0.5 into 10 is 5. 0 0.5 into 0.8 is 0.4. So 5.4. Now 43.2 plus 5.4 is equal to 48.6. 48.6 which is equal to x square plus 
3.66 x now don't go for the calculation try to use the option verification here first option is 4.8 i'll consider i will approximate it as 5 now put the value of x as 5 here now x square is equal to 5 square is 25 plus 3.6 into 5 3 into 5 is 15 0.6 into 5 is 3 so 15 plus 3 18 25 plus 18 is equal to 43 which is less than 48.6 which means even if you put x value as 5 you will get lesser value so 4.8 is not your answer same way if 4.8 is not answer then option 2 and option 3 eliminated now the remaining option is option 4 so option 4 is your answer so always try to use the option verification whenever you have complex calculation here 43 is less than 48.6 the average of 5 numbers is 30 if one number is excluded then the average becomes 31 what is the excluded number here 5 numbers average is 30 and if one number excluded means remaining 4 numbers 4 numbers average is 31 now here right hand side difference is increment is plus 1 here this is decrement that is minus 1 now multiply this left hand side decrement with 31 and multiply this right hand side difference with 5 that is minus 31 plus 5 is equal to minus 26 so leave the negative symbol and take the remaining that is 26 option 1 is your answer here for 5 numbers average is equal to 30 and remaining 4 numbers average is 31 now take the common average to find the excluded number take the common average here common average is 30 now you can see here this is 31 31 is 1 greater than common average 30 and this 1 average increment is for this 4 numbers so 1 into 4 4 is the total increment so this total increment we should subtract it from this common average for the remaining number from this common average so 30 minus 4 is equal to 26 a cylindrical vessel of diameter 32 cm is partially filled with water. A solid metallic sphere of radius 12 cm is dropped into it. What will be the increase in the level of water in the vessel? Whenever you drop an object into water, the rise in water level is equal to the volume of object. Here volume of rise is equal to volume of sphere. Now here volume of rise means this is cylindrical vessel now this is filled with water and you are dropping a sphere into it now the rise in water level is equal to the volume of this sphere now consider this as h height and here volume of rise is equal to pi r square h volume of cylinder is pi r square h so pi into here radius is equal to diameter is 32 so radius is equal to 16 square into h is equal to h height of rise now volume of sphere is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube r is equal to 12 so 12 cube i will write it as 12 into 12 square i can cancel it here 3 goes 4 times in 12 and 4 into 4 is 16 so 4 into 4 16 cancel here now height is equal to 12 square divided by 16 4 goes 4 times in 16 4 goes 3 times in 12 4 goes 3 times in 12 so 9 is height option 1 is your answer so height of rise is equal to 9 centimeter if 5 cent theta minus 4 cos theta is 0 then the value of 5 cent theta plus 2 cos theta divided by 5 cent theta plus 3 cos theta here 5 sin theta is equal to 4 cos theta from this time now put the value 5 sin theta is 4 cos theta. So 4 plus 2 is 6 cos theta divided by here also 5 sin theta is 4 cos theta. 4 plus 3 is 7 cos theta. Cos theta and cos theta cancel. 6 by 7 option 2 is your answer. If the length of diagonal of a square is a plus b then the area of square is consider side length of 
square as L. Then area is equal to L square. That is here. This is square and side is L means here diagonal is A plus B. Now you can see 2 L square is equal to A plus B the whole square from this triangle. Now L square is the area which is equal to A plus B the whole square divided by 2. Now from this option, option 2 is your answer. That is if you expand this, this will become a square plus b square half into a square plus b square plus remaining is 2ab. 2ab by 2 is equal to ab. Here expenditure of family a is 50,000 and expenditure of family b is 75,000. If the monthly expenditure of both families are combined together then expenditure on entertainment of both the families together will be what percentage of total monthly expenditure of both families. Here total expenditure of both the families equal to 50,000 plus 75,000 that is 125,000. Now expenditure on entertainment for both the families is here for entertainment family A spend 10 percentage and family B spend 12 percentage. So 10 percentage of 50,000 is equal to 5,000 plus 12 percentage of 75,000. So 10 percentage is 7500 and 1 percentage is 750. So 2 percentage is 750 into 2, 1500. So 7500 plus 1500 is 9000. 5000 plus 9000 is the total spending that is 14000. Now triple zero and K cancel remaining is equal to 14 by 125 into 100. Now 25 goes 5 times in 125, 25 goes 4 times in 100. 14 into 4 is equal to 56 divided by 5. If I approximate it, 5 goes 11 times in 55. So option 4 is your answer. Here find the value of x cube plus y cube plus z cube plus x y z. Here x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xy z formula is equal to x plus y plus z into x plus y plus z the whole square minus 3 into xy plus y z plus z x. Now if I add plus 4xy z in the LHS this term will become xyz. So we will get what we want. Now, if I add 4xyz in the LHS, I should add 4xyz in the RHS as well. Now, calculate the value. That is, this term will become x plus y plus z is 18. 18 into 18 square minus 3 into here xy plus yz plus zx is 90. 3 into 90 plus 4 into xy is 81. So 4 into 81. Now this will become 18 into 18 square is 324. 324 minus 270 which is 54 plus 4 into 81. 4 into 8 32. So 324. Now this 54 is equal to 18 into 3. Now I can take 18 square outside. That is 324 outside. 324 into 3 plus 1. 4. So 324 into 4 is your answer. 4 into 4 is 16. So unit digit is 6 means here option 2 is your answer. So 324 into 2 is 1296. A T seller used to make 50% profit by selling T at 9 per cup. When the cost of ingredients increased by 25%, he st started selling T at 10 per cup. What is his profit percentage now? Here profit is 50 percentage means if 100 rupees is the cost price, 100 plus 50, 150 rupees is the selling price. 50 goes 2 times in 100, 50 goes 3 times in 150. But here selling price is given as 9 per cup. So selling price is 9 means 3 into 3 is 9. So cost price is equal to 2 into 3, 6 rupees. If cost price is 6 rupees, now cost price increased to 25 percentage. 25 percentage 10 percentage of 6 is 0 0.6 
ट्वेंटी परसेंटेज इज वन पॉइंट टू एंड फाइव परसेंटेज इज पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स बाई टू पॉइंट थ्री सो टोटल इंक्रीमेंट इज वन पॉइंट फाइव रुपीज सो सिक्स प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव इज इक्वल टू सेवन पॉइंट फाइव रुपीज इज दि कोस्ट प्राइस नाउ नाउ द कोस्ट प्राइस इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव रुपीज सो वेन कोस्ट प्राइस इंक्रीज टू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंटेज ही सेल इट टेन पर कप सो नाउ सेलिंग प्राइस इज इक्वल टू टेन रुपीज now difference between cost price and sell price is equal to 2.5 rupees and this difference is generated out of the 7.5 rupees into 100 so this is 1 by 3 into 100 means 33.33 percentage option 3 is your answer four men and six boys can do a work in 8 days and six men and four boys can do the same work in 7 days in how many days will five men and four boys take to do the same work here four men and six boys can do a work in 8 days now the same work can be done by six men and four boys in 7 days and in how many days five men and four boys will do the same work now equate the first two equations here 6 into 8 48 48 boys minus here 4 into 7 28 so 48 minus 28 boys equal to 20 boys which is equal to here 6 into 7 is 42 men 4 into 8 is 32 men 42 men minus 32 men is equal to 10 men which means here one man is equal to two boy that is men by boy efficiency is equal to 2 is to 1 that is men can complete two unit of work in a day boy can complete one unit of work in a day now apply this in first equation and find the total work total work is equal to 4 into 2 8 plus 6 into 1 6 so 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 so 14 into 8 is the total work here now if total work is 14 into 8 This fourteen into eight can be completed by five men and four boys in D days. Now five men can complete five into two, ten unit of work, plus four boys can complete four into one, four unit of work in D days. That is here ten plus four, fourteen, and here also fourteen. So fourteen into eight is equal to fourteen into D. So D is equal to eight here. Here. so number of days is equal to 8 days option 2 is your answer a shopkeeper allows 28 percentage discount on the marked price of an article and still makes profit of 20 percentage if he gains rupees 3080 on the sale of one article then what is the selling price here we don't need this 28 percentage discount and etc here Profit is twenty percentage. Profit is twenty percentage and gain is three thousand eighty. And we need selling price. So that is simple. That is twenty percentage is the profit, which is same as gain, which is given as three thousand eighty. Then we need selling price. If twenty percentage is the profit, one twenty percentage is the selling price. So which is equal to twenty into six is. 120 percentage 20 percentage into 6 is 120 percentage so 3080 into 6 is selling price which is equal to 6 into 8 48 remaining 4 6 into 3 18 so 18480 option 2 is your answer what is the value of x here 5 into 1 minus x by 5 will become 5 minus x 5 into x by 5 is x minus Minus five. Here minus into minus is plus. So minus five plus x minus one by two hundred into twenty minus x. If I separate this term, minus into minus is plus. So plus x by two hundred, which is equal to point zero eight. Now these four terms cancel. Twenty goes ten times in two hundred. That is one by ten is point one. So minus point one. Here and here minus point zero eight. So x by two hundred is equal to point zero eight plus point one. That is point one eight. Now x is equal to 
200 into 0.18 is 2 into 18, 36. So option 1 is your answer. In the triangle ABC, T and E are points on BC such that AD equal to AE, BAD is CAE and AB equal to 2P plus 3, BD is 2P and AC is 3Q minus 1, CE is Q. Then find the value of P plus Q. Here, this is the triangle ABC. Now, D and E are two points on BC. And AD is AE. That is, these two lengths are equal. And angle PAD, angle PAD is equal to angle CAE. Now, now AB is 2P plus 3, BD is 2P and AC is 3Q minus 1, CE is Q. Here you can see these two sides are equal means these two angles are also equal. Which means these two angles are also equal. That is this, is, this angle is equal to 180 minus this one. Here also this angle is equal to 180 minus this one. Now you can see in this two triangles that is in triangle AEC and in triangle ADB all the three angles are equal because two angles are already equal which means the remaining third angle is also equal. Then three angles are equal means these two triangles are similar that is triangle ACE is similar to triangle ABD. Ratio of corresponding sides are equal in similar triangles. Now take the corresponding side ratio. That is here if I take these two angles. Opposite to this angle is equal to Q. And in this triangle opposite to this angle is equal to 2P. Which is in the same ratio of here opposite to angle C and opposite to angle B. Here angle B and angle C are same. So opposite to angle C is equal to AE. And opposite to angle B is equal to AD. Now AE by AD is equal to 1. Which means Q is equal to 2P. And here we have these two sides. Now how to get this, this side? Take this angle. Here opposite to this angle is equal to 3Q minus 1. And here opposite to this angle is equal to 2P plus 3. Which is in the same ratio of AE by AD. That is opposite to C and opposite to B. AE by AD which is 1. Which means 3Q minus 1 is equal to 2P plus 3. So here 2P is equal to Q. 2P is equal to Q. So 3Q minus Q is equal to 2Q. Which is equal to 3 plus 1 4. That is Q is equal to 2. Here Q is equal to 2 means 2 is equal to 2P. That is P is equal to 1. So P plus Q is equal to 1 plus 2. Option 1 is your answer. In a circle of diameter 20 cm, codes A, B and C, D are parallel to each other. B, C is diameter. A, B is 6 cm from the center of the circle. What is the length of code C, D? Here, this is the circle and B, C is diameter. And code A, B and C, D are parallel. This is B means, if I consider this as A, A, B is parallel to C, D. Now, these two lines are parallel. And... AB is 6 cm from the center of the circle means don't consider AB length as 6. That is here AB is 6 cm from the center of the circle means from the center of the circle the shortest possible distance to this chord AB is equal to 6 cm. That is if AB is 6 cm from the center of the circle means shortest possible distance from the center of the circle to chord AB is 6 cm. When you draw shortest line, shortest distance line from the center of the circle to a chord, it will meet the chord perpendicularly. And it will meet at the midpoint of the chord which means these two lengths are equal. This is the midpoint and these two lengths are equal. Now this is 6 and this is right angle triangle and here this is radius. Radius is equal to 
tan. Diameter is 20. So, this is 10 plus 10, 20. Now, 1 is 10, 1 is 6. Now, the triplet is 6, 8, 10. So, this side is equal to 8 centimeter. If this side is 8, this is also 8. Same way, if you consider this triangle as well, if AB is 16, CD is also 16. So, option 4 is your answer. A kite flying at a height of 120 meter is attached to a string which make angle 60 degree with the horizontal. What is the length of the string? Here, this kite is at a height of 120 meter and this kite is attached to a string and the string makes angle 60 degree with the horizontal. Now, take sine of 60. Sine 60 is equal to root 3 by 2. That is opposite side and hypotenuse are in the ratio. Root 3 is to 2. Now, root 3 part is equal to 120 meter means 2 part is equal to 120 by root 3 into 2. Now, multiply denominator and numerator with root 3. Now, this will become 3. 3 goes 40 times in 120. So, this is equal to 80 root 3. Option 4 is your answer. Length is equal to 80 root 3. Here, total number of cakes sold in a week is equal to 10,500. Ratio of vanilla cake sold to the chocolate cake sold on Friday is 4 is to 3. If the price of one vanilla cake is rupees 9 and that of one chocolate cake is rupees 10, then the total amount earned by selling all vanilla cakes and chocolate cakes on Friday is. Here, on Friday, 10% of cake sold. And here, in a V, total 10,500 cake sold. So, 10% of 10,500 is 1,050. That is, cake sold on Cake sold on Friday is 1050. And here ratio of vanilla cakes and chocolate cakes sold on Friday is 4 is to 3 means 4 plus 3. 7 part is equal to 1050. That is total cake sold on Friday is 1050. And here ratio of vanilla cakes and chocolate cake is 4 is to 3 means total cake is 7 part which is 1050. 7 goes 1 time in 10. 7 goes 5 times in 35. So, 150. One part is equal to 150. And here, price of one vanilla cake is 9 rupees and price of one chocolate cake is 10 rupees. Which means, price of four part vanilla cake is equal to 4 into 9, 36 part. And price of three part chocolate cake is 3 into 10, 30. That is total 36 plus 30, 66 part rupees. Now total amount earned by selling all this cake is equal to 66 part which is equal to 66 into 150. One part is 150. Now this is equal to 0, 6 into 5, 30, 3 remaining. 6 plus 30 is 36, 36 plus 3, 39, 6 into 1 plus 3, 9. So, 9900. Option 3 is your answer. Total amount earned by selling all the vanilla cakes and chocolate cake is 9900. In blender stone, a certain sum is one fourth of the sum and interest rate percentage is four times the number of years. If the rate of interest increases by two percentage, then what will be the simple interest on rupees 5000 for three years? Here, Simple interest is one fourth of the sum means one fourth means twenty five percentage. That is simple interest is equal to twenty five percentage of sum. Now this twenty five percentage is earned at a rate of R percentage for t number of years. Now here rate percentage is four times the number of years. That is R is equal to four times number of years. R is equal to fourteen. Now we have to find out what is Right here. Now write T in terms of R. That is here T from this is equal to T is equal to R by 4. So write T as R by 4. Now this will become R square by 4 is equal to 25 percentage. So R square is equal to 25 percentage into 4, 100 percentage means R is equal to 10 percentage. If 
all the rate is 10 percentage here r increases by 2 percentage now 10 plus 2 r increases by 2 percentage means 10 plus 2 new rate is equal to 12 percentage new rate is 12 percentage and here we need to find what is the simple interest on rupees 5000 for 3 years now for 1 year for 1 year interest earned is equal to 12 percentage at new rate interest and on this 5000 is 12 percentage for 1 year now 10 percentage of 5000 is 500 1 percentage is 50 then 12 percentage is 12 into 50 that is 600 rupees that is here 600 rupees earned on 1 year 1 year now we need 3 year interest so 600 into 3 1800 is 3 3 year interest 3 year interest so option 4 is your answer the given bar graph shows income and expenditure of a company over 5 years from 2014 to 18 in which of the following years ratio of expenditure to income minimum here we need minimum ratio of expenditure to income here this solid portion shows expenditure and this pattern shows income here take the ratio here 25 into 7 is equal to 175 25 into 9 is 225 and here this is 28 is to 25 and here 25 into 10 is equal to 250 so 25 into 11 is 275 here 25 into 12 300 so 25 into 13 325 here 35 is to 30 5 goes 6 times in 30 5 goes 7 times in 35 so 7 is to 6 is ratio now 25 goes 14 times in 350 and 25 goes 13 times in 325 now take the ratio that is in 2014 we have 7 by 9 we need expenditure to income so 7 by 9 ratio and in 2015 we have 25 is to 28 ratio and in 2016 we have 11 is to 13 ratio and 17 we have 6 is to 7 ratio 18 we have 13 is to 14 ratio now to check which is minimum we need minimum to check minimum compare this one with all this five ratio that is cross multiply 7 into 28 is equal to 7 into 20 140 7 into 8 56 so 196 and here 9 into 25 25 into 8 is 200 so this is 225 now you can see we need minimum so 196 minimum so cancel this one Again compare 7 into 13, 7 into 10, 70, 7 into 3, 21. So 91 and 9 into 11, 99. You can see 99 is greater. So we need minimum, 91 is minimum. So cancel this one. Again 7 into 7, 49 and 9 into 6, 54. You can see 54 is greater. So cancel this one. We need minimum. Again. Now 7 into 14, 7 into 10, 70, 7 into 4, 28. So 70 plus 28, 98. Now 9 into 13 is 90 plus 27, which is 178. Now you can see 98 is minimum. So this one also cancel, which means here 2014 has the minimum ratio of expenditure to income. Option 4 is your answer. If the 9 digit number 7x7925 1y8 is divisible by 36, what is the value of 10x square minus 3y square for the largest possible value of y? Here when a number is divisible by 36, it should be divisible by both 9 and 4. When a number is divisible by 4, its last 2 digits should be divisible by 4. Here y8 is the last 2 digit. So y8 should be divisible by 4. And we need largest possible value of y here. Here if I put y as 9, then 98 is not divisible by 4. So y is not 9 means if I put y as 8, 88 is divisible by 4. Which means y is equal to 8 here. When a number is divisible by 9, 
its digital sum should be divisible by 9. Here, take the digital sum of this number. Here, y is equal to 8 here. Now, cancel all the 9. 9 cancel. 8 plus 1, 9 cancel. 7 plus 2, 9 cancel. Remaining is 7 plus 5, 12. 12 plus 8, 20. So, 20 plus x should be divisible by 9. Now, 9 goes 3 times in 27. So, here x is equal to 7. So, put the value of x as 7 and y as 8. Means, here 10 into x square will become 49 minus 3 into y square will become 64. Now, 490 minus 3 into 64. 3 into 60, 180. 3 into 4, 12. So, 192. 490 minus 192 is equal to 10 minus 2, 8. 18 minus 9 is equal to 9. 3 minus 1 is 2, 298. So, option 4 is your answer. In a factory with 400 employees, ratio of number of male employees to that of female employees is 5 is to 3. There are 87.5% regular employees in the factory. If 92% of the male employees are regular, then what is the percentage of regular female employees? Here, men and women ratio is 5 is to 3. And total number of employees is 400. So, 5 plus 3, 8 part is equal to 400 means 1 part is equal to 50. If 1 part is 50, 5 part is total number of men, which is equal to 5 into 50, 250. And 3 part is total number of women, which is equal to 3 into 50, 150. So, total 250 men and 150 women are in the factory. And here 87.5 percentage are regular employees. That is, regular employees are 87.5 percentage. Means, 12.5 into 7 is 87.5. 12.5 goes 8 times in 100. So, 7 by 8 part is 87.5 percentage. So, 7 by 8 of 400. Total employees 400 are regular employees. 8 goes 50 times in 400. 7 into 50, 350 employees. So, regular employees are 350. Out of 400, 350 employees are regular. And out of this 350, 92 percentage men are regular. So, total number of men is 250. So, 92 percentage of 250 means subtract 8 percentage from 250. Then you will get 92 percentage. 10% of 250 is 25, 1% is 2.5. So, 2.5 into 8 is equal to 20. So, regular employees is equal to 250 minus 20 which is 230. So, 230 employees are regular. Out of this 350, 230 employees are regular for men. Then, remaining is 120 for women. So, this is men and this is women. Now we need percentage of regular employees for women. Here percentage is equal to 120 out of total women is equal to 150 into 100. Here 3 goes 5 times in 15, 3 goes 4 times in 12. Now 5 goes 20 times in 100. So 4 into 20 is 80 percentage. So option 1 is your answer. 80 percentage female employees are regular. The following histogram shows marks scored by 40 students in a test of 30 marks. A student has to score minimum of 10 marks to pass the test. How many students have passed the test and obtained less than 50 percentage mark? Here, minimum 10 marks to pass the test means here, greater than 10 marks if the students pass the test. That is this portion. Now, we need students obtain less than 50 percentage mark. So, 50 percentage of 30 is equal to 15. So, less than 15 is equal to this one. Now, between these two, total 7 number of students. So, option 2 is your answer. That is, greater than 10 mark and less than 15 is total 7 number of students.